What's up guys, it's Mercules here, and this is going to be commentary number 23. Now, um, I know I just released a video earlier, like earlier today, less than 24 hours ago, the Halo helped me number 3, but uh, I also haven't released a commentary in a while, and I am going into surgery later today, like it's 12.35 in the morning right now, and I'm going into surgery at 6 in the morning. So by the time y'all are watching this, I will probably already be in surgery and I'll probably already be having my nose uh, my nose fixed. Now specifically what I'm having done is a procedure to fix a double deviated septum which means that um, I have passageways of my nose obviously on either side that air travels through and they are crooked and it's like kinking a hose so it's not letting air go through so I haven't been able to breathe out of my nose since I was like you know, pretty young. I've already gone over this before in a previous um in a previous commentary, but just for those of you who have joined me since that last commentary, I'm having no surgery tomorrow, and I am going under. It's going to be the first time I've gone under in my life that I can remember. I went under when I was like a little baby, and I had like a hernia or something, but obviously I don't remember that. Um, so it's going to be the first time I've ever gone under, so I am a little nervous about it. I'm not going to lie. I definitely think it's going to be a, a different experience. From what I've been told, you start counting backwards from 10, and then someone is slapping your face a few hours, a few hours later, and it's like you it's seriously just like you blink so I hope it's like that that'd be great and um, but because of that I'm also not sure when I'm going to be able to do a commentary again um, I have moved into my new house but I'm living with my parents right now because they told me that the recovery time for the surgery varies per person and so I might need someone to like take care of me uh, after the surgery so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be at my parents house for and if I'm at my parents house um, for like a week or something I just want to have a commentary out there so y'all want to get bored but yeah, that's enough about my surgery, I suppose. Um, I didn't really come into this commentary like with anything planned out that I want to say. Uh, I pretty much just, like I said, sat down and figured, well, uh, I might as well do a commentary tonight because, like I said, haven't done one in a while. Don't know when I'll be able to do another one again. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to do one soon. Uh, they said because I'm young that it should be only like a couple days recovery time, maybe even only one day. But I don't really know. I don't really know. Like I said, not afraid to admit that I'm nervous. A little bit about the gameplay. Um, this is obviously Crazy King on Countdown. The only reason I say this gameplay, it's one I talked about that I wasn't even going to use for commentary, but I just decided to because, I mean, gameplay-wise, it's really not that bad a gameplay. I, I get 10 triple kills there. Literally 10 triple kills. It's the most triple kills I've ever gotten in a match. Like, 10 double kills seems like a lot, and I end up, I think, getting like 18 double kills or something some ridiculous. But I only get one overkill the entire game. It's all the way at the end. It's because I was playing with my friend, and I was talking to him the entire game, and I was like, how have I not gotten an overkill yet? I mean, overkills are just getting stolen left and right. I was choking on them. It was just, it was a real terrible game in terms of multi-kills. Kill-wise, you know, obviously still a pretty decent game. But, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. It is multi-team. It is countdown. I know you all probably bored as hell of the, all that stuff. But, um can't really do too much about it just because it is, uh, like I said, still haven't been able to capture. Just got all my stuff set up today, but I kept my Xbox at my parents' house because obviously if I'm, you know, bedridden or something like that, recovering, I want to be able to play Xbox. So I have been playing pretty much exclusively big team battle since I've been at my parents' house. Been trying to get gameplays for that. I figure uh, it's probably different enough that y'all won't get bored of that as quickly as you did of multi-team. Um, like I said, I've obviously got the two really good gameplays that I'm looking forward to doing, so we'll see how those go. Uh, as soon as I start capturing, those will be like the first things I put up. I have decided that I am going to make that montage channel where I just post every single person's montages, and I'm definitely going to make the gameplay channel as well because I feel like both of those are really good ideas. And everybody loves to be, you know, a couch coach where they watch other people's gameplay and they tell them how they can improve, and I just figured that this will be a good avenue for actually allowing people to do that now in a, in a setting where it's like, it's actually supposed to be happening. Like you're actually supposed to be telling people how you feel like they can improve. Um, people will be able to send me their gameplays. I'll post their gameplay, and then um, when they see their gameplay, they can just uh, they can just I guess read the comments on it, read what people say. Um, this is not going to be like my Matt Captures Clips channel. I'm not capturing. I'm not editing these montages. I'm not capturing these gameplays. This is gameplays that you posted on your channel and you want to have a large audience. Now obviously for this to be successful, um, some people besides just my subscribers are going to have to um, are going to have to subscribe to the channel so it actually gets a big audience so it's actually successful because the whole point of this channel is to get user feedback and it won't work if there's only like 16 subscribers. So when I do make the channel, I will tell y'all and um, 
I would really, really appreciate it if as many of you as uh, possible could go subscribe to it. I'm going to send a video to um, FB Walshy for sure. I, I know he sometimes does things like that, things that he thinks will help the community. I'm not really going to be taking away views from his montages because I feel like most of the montages that are going to be sent to me will be ones that he turned down because what I always feel like is, I mean, FB Walshy turns down like every single one of my montages except for one. He, he put my Halo Reach montage one up there. He's turned down every other one. But at the same time, that doesn't mean the other ones that I made aren't enjoyable to watch. And the same thing for a ton of other people. I mean, there's so many montages. Uh, there's probably a whole Halo YouTube scene that a lot of us don't even know. I mean, I just saw a Halo Reach commentator the other day whose name is the Halo... I think it's the Halo Tutor. Had never heard of him before. Had never seen anyone I've subscribed to like or comment on any of it. Never heard of the guy before. Just subscribed to him. He's got like 2,000 subscribers. And I feel like it's just... The people he associates with on YouTube are more Call of Duty commentators, so he's kind of the in-between for the Halo Call of Duty scene, I mean, as opposed to people he, he like, talks to and who are subscribed to him. Um, I had just literally never heard of the guy. I just randomly found him when I was searching um, things on YouTube, and I was like, wow, this is this is pretty cool, because I feel like all the big-name people on YouTube, and Halo-wise, I like know who they are, or I've at least heard of them, even if I'm not subscribed to him, but this guy, literally never heard of him before, never seen one of his videos, never seen anyone comment on it. And like I said, he has 2,000 subs, so he's not even a uh, small name guy. Um, I'm going to send messages to all these people with the commentary. I'm going to do one commentary specifically where I talk about my idea for the channel. I'm going to really, really get into my ideas for all three channels. Um, talking about all three channels, the Clips channel. Not particularly sure that I really want to do that one because I don't see how much can be gained by people watching bad clips that are posted. I mean, I just don't really see. I mean, that was kind of the original idea I had with my Matt Captures Clips channel, is I was going to like capture people's clips and then everybody would be able to get their clips out there, and not just clips that are good enough to go on single Halo clips. But then there's not really anything you can tell someone about a bad clip. Like it's a bad clip. Like, it's just a bad clip. Gameplay-wise, you can analyze everything if you see an entire gameplay. But if you just see a bad clip, I mean, it's not really entertaining to anyone. I don't feel like too many people subscribe. So, I mean, leave some feedback on what you think I should do about that. But as of right now, it's definitely going to be a montage channel, and there's definitely going to be a gameplay channel. I might make them the same, but uh, realistically, and then just have different playlists. But realistically, I think I'll probably have two separate channels. So, uh, yeah, that's enough about that. Another thing. Because I just thought about this because he just commented on one of my videos. Uh, Stonehenge Ponage actually commented on one of my speeches and um, was talking about my beard. And this makes me pretty sad. I was growing the beard out the entire summer. I had, if you watch all of my speeches in order, it's actually kind of funny because my beard is like shortest. Like I have, I'm pretty sure I like don't have a beard or I have a really short beard in the first one. And the second one, it's like pretty scruffy. And the third one's pretty scruffy. And the fourth one, I have this monstrous fucking like raccoon on my face. It's, Sorry for cursing, by the way. I don't usually curse in my commentaries too bad, but I definitely did then, so apologies to that offense anyone. Sorry about that. But, yeah, I had this giant raccoon on my face, like this ridiculous thing. Oh, terrible ever kill Shepard. Damn, that's awful. That, that makes me sad. But, um, yeah, I had this ridiculous beard, and I was growing this beard out the whole summer. Of course, my girlfriend hated it, but um, being the fact that I am Jewish, my grandparents love it because they think it makes me look Jewish. And also being the fact that I am Jewish, I am trying to go to Israel this Christmas break for my birthright. I don't know if anyone else is a Jew uh, or knows anything about that, but being uh, of Jewish descent, you're actually allowed to go on a free trip to Israel for 10 days. So um, I'm trying to do that this Christmas break. We'll see how that goes. Uh, another triple kill right there. No overkill. I saw that. So, But yeah, um, back to the subject that I was talking about before. They actually made me shave my beard for the surgery tomorrow because they said that they can't put the uh, mask on that they need to knock me out if I have like a really thick beard. So I shaved it and I had um, the chops at first, like the mutton chops, like that crazy Wolverine thing. And I was looking at myself and I was like, damn, I look badass. And then I was just like, oh, I can't do this. My girlfriend's getting killed. So, yep, Kelly, if you watch this, just know that I shaved my entire beard for you. So I love you, but also I'm very sad that I no longer have a beard. Um, on, I guess, on, I guess uh, a related subject about what I'm going to do with my channel, I am pretty close to 300 subscribers. I've been fluctuating right around the 285 level because I haven't been putting out too many videos. I've been losing some subscribers. I talked to you all about that before. I'm still getting the phantom dislikes on my videos, but I am definitely, as soon as I move into the new house, um, I'm hoping that somehow by some form of miracle I can get uh, 300 subscribers by the time I'm recovered from my surgery, and then I can just do the first video I do out of my new house can be a setup video. I'd really like that. So if any of y'all have any way that you can get me some subscribers, like if you can recommend some people, or if liking a video you think 
who will bring me more subscribers, please, anyone who can, help me to get to 300 subscribers. I'd really like my next video that I do to be a, um, to be a setup video. And I think this is where I get my overkill. Is it? Yes! Overkill right there. Hooray, hooray. And then, uh, terrible kill temperature. So. Alright, but that's it for this gameplay, guys. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more, and help me to get to 300 subscribers, please.